for those who are a bit newer to that, I'm sure you've coached many people in this over time. What are your suggestions for how to kind of begin to build a tribe? Or even if we reverse further back from that, I suppose, we should ask ourselves how are we going to discover what it is we're put here to do, is it, to, to sort of paraphrase you. How do we deal with those big, big, rather amorphous things as opposed to here's a 10 step process that make you $10,000 a month? You can see the seductiveness of that, right? It's very prepackaged. How do we handle that more amorphous stuff you talked about? Yeah. So actually, I'm kind of going through it right now because a couple, a, a year and a half ago, two years ago now, I actually closed down my Instagram account that had the about like thousands and thousands and thousands of followers. I shut it down. Because that account had was like 10 years old. That's from that phase of my life. So I'm actually in the process of, quote unquote, rebuilding even my personal brand, Samantha Kazuch, which that's what I am on Instagram. So I'm kind of in the process right now of rebuilding myself from scratch. So I can kind of speak to this, not from a place of, oh, well, I was an influencer back in the day when it was so easy to grow. Now I'm like actually in the, tr in the quote unquote trenches again with building my personal brand, manuscripting on its own, manuscript has its own Instagram account, which is just growing, growing. Of course, you know, that's where everyone goes. But as far as even just starting with your company brand or personal brand, it literally is just showing up every single day. And I think what it comes down to now is people are more interested in learning and knowing who they're buying their products from. They want to know more about the founder. And the one thing that I know puts our journal company, sets us apart from others, is that the other really popular ones that are out there right now, and I'm not going to drop names, but the, but there's, a, there's quite a few of them that are very popular, do something a little bit similar to what we do, but you would never know who the founder is. There's no community with it. And yes, they're doing well, but also I think people are really... Even when I'm shopping, if I'm going to buy something new, I'm like, hey, who's the founder of this company? What are their values? What are they all about? And I go to their Instagram account. So I feel like really just showing up, showing behind the scenes of the company, showing when things go wrong, showing when things go right, showing like day in the life kind of stuff. I think it really starts helping you gain trust with your customers as well, because I think people are more... I don't know the word for it necessarily, but people are more, I don't know the word, but just basically like how they're spending their money, they care. Like they want to know what products they're supporting and what type of people they're supporting too. So what's starting to grow with social media, whether it's for the business or personal brand, I think it's important to do both. And I know some people are like, well, Sam, I don't want to go on Instagram and I don't want to show my face and everything. That's okay too. But I feel like, the more transparency you have, I think it's also going to help gain your customers' trust too.